Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with the Fox Sports Radio for the card Monday, October 24th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant and run. What a game. Sunday night football. Another tie. You got a, How about Fezzik's tweet? We haven't had a tie in a long, long time. Yeah, two years, Fezzik. Yeah, Cincinnati and Carolina. Unbelievable. 6-6. Six, six. Both kickers missing in, in, in overtime. Both were chippies. Canizaro, he's got the, the, the Wagner in his head jumping. He's got the, the yips. Hauschka misses. Oh, my God. You thought Baldwin was going to score in overtime. You thought Arizona was going to get in twice. Johnson at the one-yard line, he couldn't get in. That game had everything, you know, except the touchdowns. 6-6. Six, six. Oh, in-game in -game running, in-game wagering. Fourth quarter. Ten and a half. It was ten and a half. You'll never see that again. Like the Bill Simmons tweet. This is something you would expect in January when it's 20 below. Game's in Arizona. Wow. And then it's 3 nothing for the pretty much the entire game, and both teams go up and down the field in overtime. And each team, you know, well, Seattle, yeah, right. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. That was madness. Michaels didn't know what to do with himself. And, I'm, you know, I'm frankly, I'm a little bit sick of uh, Bruce Arians. That guy's overrated. There's always a head scratcher in every game that guy's involved with with the Arizona side. When you see a game like that, you, you go back and look and wonder about some of the, the, the shitty games and what's happened and all the ties. And, you know, one thing that Mike, how about Michael's pointing out the tie two years ago? It was 37 to 37. How strange is that? We've had some other, uh, the Gus Farad headbutt game when he headbutted the wall. Look that one up. That was 7-7. Seven, seven. Wow. Uh, 2007, Monday Night Football. This was because of the field and the quagmire conditions. Pittsburgh beat the Dolphins 3-0. Cleveland beat Buffalo 6-3 in 2009. Derek Anderson won as the quarterback. He was 2-17. Atlanta beat Arizona 6-3 in 2004. There were 500 yards in the game. Each team had four turnovers, nine fumbles in the game. That's just a few. You know, we had the Mike Vick uh, Atlanta-Pittsburgh tie. I think Burris had like 200, 300 yards receiving in that game too. And that was crazy. I think that was like 34-34 or something. Wow, it's madness when you go back and look at some of these games. Uh, what else? Jesus, could do 20 minutes on this. Great job by the Chargers. They were down big. They come back to win. They actually could uh, win a lot of games. You look at the rest of the season. Hell, they're good. You look at their schedule the rest of the way. The Raiders, 4-0 on the road for the first time since 2000. Give it up. They win in Jacksonville. Patriots, workmanlike performance. They win in Pittsburgh. Game stays under. That was a tough beat. So a lot going on. Monday Night Football coming up as well. All right, time to tell you what I'm betting. Two big feature pro picks up at pregame. J.R. O'Donnell's got a three-star on Monday Night Football. He's on a 31-14 and 14 run all sports. And Ben Burns has a Monday Night Football play as well. Another winner yesterday. Four pros were on the Dolphins. Good job, guys. That is five out of six for us. Nothing today. We'll be back with something probably on Tuesday. NBA's here. The Association, Tuesday. What a shit. What a, what a, I mean, Cleveland's going to be bananas Tuesday. Game one of the World Series, and right next door, they raise the banner and give the Cavs their rings. Good job by Silver moving it up a little bit with the start time, but holy cow. Wow. That's good. Golden State and San Antonio to start, too. All right, before I get out of here, as always, betting half heat on the free play. Let's go under the Monday night game. Denver, Houston, 40 and a half. Come on. They're not going over that. All right, that's the, that's the play there. All right, we'll talk to you Tuesday on pregame.com.